Well, I'm just going to adjust the camera, because this can only mean one thing here, people of YouTube land. That's right. Hopefully that camera angle will do. Hello there, people of YouTube land. This is the Dodo Wrestling Fan, here today to do some... Contra! That's right, my favorite NES game. We're going to do a playthrough of it. But Dodo Wrestling Fan, were you doing Sonic Heroes? And yeah, I was doing Sonic Heroes, but... And I thought, let's change it up. I want to do a month of something. And this is the month of NES. Oddly enough, I'm playing it on an emulator on my Wii as well. I have the homebrew channel on my Wii, and it's all decked out, if you could say so. So this is Contra, so it is an emulator, so just remember that. So there may be some odd sprite things here and there, but the only thing I got was some odd sprite flicker of the main character. Without further ado, we're not doing any damn cheat codes for this. We're going old school with Contra! Yeah! Best opening of any game ever, my friend. Let's do this. Let's go to jungle. It's jungle time. Actually, the music in this game is just clutch. See what I mean? It's kind of like sprite flickery and stuff. Anyway. Um, I have one goal. Um, get the spreader. And if you, uh, don't get the spreader, still get the spreader. That's the only thing I want to say. Get the spreader. Get the spreader. Get the spreader. And um, you're going to want to jump here. Every single playthrough I've seen of this game, people always keep missing that. Like, jump, jump. And the hard thing about this game is you die in one hit, and that's kind of lame. But, you know, the game is kind of fair with it. There you go, you got the spreader. And I'm using a turbo button, which makes some things a little bit easier for me. Uh, but yeah, those little lives there, you can only get hit, like, what is it, four times? with your, Or th you only have three lives, but I don't know how this works, but this game isn't too unfairly difficult once you, like, have, like, uh, the levels memorized. It's not so bad. I hope that you guys can actually, uh, end up see this spreader. The spreader, like, takes care of everything. And once you got the spreader, don't get any other item in this game. So I'm gonna try to get this up in two parts. And I'm sorry why I didn't upload anything. It's just my Vano would not, like, it, like on my computer, I kept saying, it, oh, it's outdated. So I, I had, like, the Wind Waker recorded many days ago, but... Eh, what are you going to do about it? Nothing. See what I mean? Like, look at what the spreader did. Contra! But yeah, I'm going to have this recorder. I'm going to do this daily, but I'm doing so many things. I'm going to do this, and then Mega Man 2, while playing through on my own darn time, the frickin' uh, Devil May Cry original trilogy. Which, may I add, this is going to be one hard month for me to get through, because I hear that the Devil May Cry 3 is, like, really hard. And everybody, like, bitches and moans about these stages, but I don't know, I don't find them too difficult. Again, if you have the spreader, the spreader takes care of all those enemies. Alright, we're gonna bend down right there. There we go, we got, we got an extra metal, which is an extra life, so now we have four lives to burn through, which, trust me, I think we'll be using some in this game. I guess it's not too difficult, that's why I'm doing it, but, um... Yeah, there's most certainly some bottomless pits, like the next stage after this waterfall is kind of difficult. Actually, every, pretty much every single playthrough I've watched of this game ends right here because nobody really knows just to get the spreader. It's sort of like in the original uh, Ghost and Goblins, get the knife, and then get the knife. Like, that's how you do it. There's always that one item. Uh, this boss is really easy. Just take, take those things out like, yeah... Um, usually there's things that fire at you, though, and you have to, like, jump and deke them. But hey, I'll take it. Just shoot him up here. He can't even get a chance to attack me because I'm, like, breaking up his, like, attack pattern. Because usually he'll shoot, like, little orbs down at you. But that's the way it rolls. That's Contra for you. It's just so extreme. The next stage is Yet Waterfall. Yep. Now, people said this is, like, the hardest stage in the game, and it, it way is, and that's Power Plant, without a doubt. But I do suppose it is kind of difficult because, um... You do do a lot of falling in bottomless pits, if you don't know what you're doing. And those rocks, you want to avoid them like the plague, because, like, they will hurt. Like, they hurt. Well, I mean, everything kills you in one hit in this game, so... That guy can hurt! Like, everything just hurts in this game. But, actually, you want to know one thing I will give this game, though? Like, uh, credit for? Controls. I think this may be the best controlling, uh, game on the NES, bar none. It actually controls better than the Mario games on the NES, in my opinion. Actually, Konami and Capcom never really did any wrong for the NES, uh, because, you know, they also had Castlevania, and the music in that game is just classic, and I mean, some, like, of the shooters, like, um, Gradius, Konami really didn't do anything wrong, anything wrong like Capcom did, 
And, but, in my opinion, Capcom has aged better with, like, Devil May Cry, and... No, they, they, they're still around, that's the thing, they're still around, and they, like, like teaming up with Sega quite a bit, so, you know. I'd say Capcom and, uh, Sega are my two favorite third-party developers. Although, technically, Sega was a first-party developer, like, they had their own consoles and stuff a long time ago. Back in, like, the last time they had a console was 2001 with the Dreamcast. Like I said, just look at that spreader, though, damn. And now the next boss is kind of hard, but if you don't know what you're doing, like, I came here just going, like, what the heck do I do? What the heck do I do? What? Whoa, what, what, what? I'm putting my gun all around. Well, you have to jump. So if you're like me and you're stupid and have a derp moment, yeah, just, uh, jump. Turbo button makes everything better. That, that's all I'm saying, though. Avoid that like the plague. Shoot in the alien's mouth. Actually, I don't know what the story is for Contra. I have no clue what the story is about. I have no idea. All I know is is that it, there's like an alien bad guy and you gotta, gotta stop him. That's pretty much it. And like the final level, I should try to get this do all done within like the freaking first part. Like a full game playthrough if I can. Oh, I'm timing it. I'm timing it. I think I'll do it up to level 6, and then I'm going to stop and do some tomorrow. Get down on the floor. Eh, eh, like, a uh, strategy for you is enemies can never touch you. But never press up, as you'll get electrocuted and frozen, so... Oh, we got an extra life. Actually, I haven't lost any lives so far. That's pretty good. That's eh, because I'm actually pretty decent at this game. And, you know, when I, like, first heard about Contra, I was like, oh, God, this game is just going to frustrate the heck out of me, isn't it? But, no, actually, it really doesn't. This game just brings a smile to my face. That's why I'm doing NES Month. There was an excuse to play through Contra on my channel. And, I, and I, I have to admit something. I love Mega Man. I haven't, like, I played 9, though, and I effing hate 9. That game sucks. I don't know why so many people like Mega Man 9. It's just difficult to be difficult sake. It belongs in the same category as, um, Castlevania 2, Simon's Quest. Uh, like, the, the games that are just doing it to- Oh, no! No! Oh, okay. Oh, no! Okay. Oh, my God, my spreader's faster now! Okay! I thought I got, like, oh, no. Now it's just way faster. That, that is killer. Okay. I didn't know that you could do that. Oh, look! Oh, oh, oh my God! Sweet! I hope I don't die and lose this. Holy crap. You want to jump up there? Oh my lord. This is almost game breaking here. I think after this, it's like the last one, and then like, you're onto the boss. It's just a harder version of the second boss in the game. Like, every single level ends with some sort of boss at the end. Here we go, yep. Same strategy. Except now these guys take these guys out. Now there's two of these things. I, I recommend taking out the one on the left first. There we go. Dead. There we go. Pretty simple. Nothing too difficult there. Now the next stage kind of gets complained about. Because there's like these bombs that keep falling on you. Snowfield and how like they keep like throwing these like, oh, what are they? Dynamite sticks? You'll see in like one moment. These things right here. But I find just jump and you won't get hit by them. You can almost like get right in the area of them and you still won't die, so it's fair in that aspect. Oh, ooh, that was really close. I didn't even want to hit that. What? Double? Uh, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna test it. If like, would I get like even more rapid fire if I pick that up? All right. Hit the bricks. Well, not hit the bricks yet. That's why I call it hitting the bricks. And uh, if you're my family, trust me. You, you got. Oh yes, get that. Ah! Shoot. Because that's invincibility, and I would have just turned into Jesus. Jesus Rambo. If you're gonna tell me that these guys weren't based after John Rambo, then you're wrong. You are wrong. 
Uh, just shoot these guys down. Ready? They're, they're nothing too difficult. Sorry for the glare that I have in my room right now. Actually, hold on. I'm going to actually pause, and I'm going to shut the light off. Sorry about this. There we go. That is that a little bit better? I don't know. Yeah, I think it's a bit better in my opinion. Actually, after this, I'm thinking about ending it and then doing the final levels. Tomorrow. We'll see how it goes. Because I'm having way too much darn fun to even care right now. Now, the boss fight that's coming up is pretty hard, so... I find though if you just spam your, like, rapid fire, he's okay. Like, just get him, like, in the early stages. He won't give you much trouble. Like, uh, the spread shot, sorry. Walk up to here to activate him. Bam. He's hard if you don't have the spread shot, but he's pretty damn easy if you have anything else. Okay, I, I think I have time for one more stage, and then we'll call it a quit with just the two final stages. This is the hardest level, but damn, I'd be lying if I said this wasn't the best music track in the game. Holy crap, the music in this stage is legendary. You feel, like, so cool while listening to it. Hit the bricks. There you go. These things right here. Activate it. Oh my god, how did I avoid that? I almost do an instant replay of that. Oh my god. I should be dying right now. Why aren't I dying? Okay. Oh, you know what? I'll take it. I'll take it. Okay, that's how it is, successfully. Wait for it to activate. Oh! Okay. That was... This is quite strange. I should be dying right now, but I'm not. Like, yeah, I do have, like, cheat files for this game, but I'm not using them. Huh. Like I said, though, I'll take it. I'm glitching the emulator, I'll take it. Like, you know, save myself the rage. Like, yeah, I guess I can just walk through those things. Huh. I'm lucky today. Yeah, so this was the boss I was thinking of right here. Dead. All right. So, actually, you know what? No, we're gonna finish this. We're gonna do Contra all in one take. Yep. We're gonna do a full game playthrough of Contra, mainly because this game is just so freaking short. This stage is pretty difficult because you die if you. Okay, wait for those things. Bang, 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 bang. All right. Those things always trick me, too. I always go like, oh, no, can I do it this time? No, because they just come up. I don't have a close call. I just haven't died once in this playthrough. Holy crap. Wait one more time. Those things can still kill me, I believe. I'm not going to take the risk. Like the fire, I'm not. Hit the bricks. Because, like I said, you die for some reason if, like, those trolley carts get you. Although the music is getting reused for this stage, which is something that I don't really care for all too much, how it got reused. Um. Huh. That's weird. Let's just run through it. You thought you could, that's the issue. There's not that much to talk about anymore, other than, yeah, this level is pretty hard. Just dang, dang. I'm pretty good with timing things, so I, I, I do have perfect rhythm. Yeah, you're going to have to keep hitting the bricks a lot. Hit the bricks. Have to hit the bricks as soon as this guy comes on board, then one more time. Then you're safe. This boss is pathetic. 
See what I mean? It couldn't even hit me once. I, I made it to the final level of Contra without dying. Sure, like, the guy, like I guess the emulator kind of glitched out in, like, the power plant, but still, I'll take it. Like I said, I'll take it, man. So this is the final level of Contra right here, and it's really not that difficult. If you, like I said, if you have the spread gun. Because those things die in one hit anyway. Dead. Uma, Uma! Oh my god, that was so close. Shoot those. Shoot those cookie monster things. I don't know why they remind me of cookie monster, they just do. Like, I know it's supposed to remind me of the movie Alien, I think, but I, I've never seen the movie Alien before in my life, and nor do I even want to, because it doesn't interest me in the slightest. Well, then again, I have been watching a lot of movies on the, a site called Putt Locker lately. I watched, like, Dumb and Dumber 2. Actually, you know what? Watch, go to Putt Locker to watch movies. I'm going to recommend that. Um, uh, folks, I just thought I'd say, are you a fan of the Angry Video Game Nerd? Well, then you probably know that he made a movie, like the Angry Video Game Nerd movie. And you know what? Don't waste your time. It's not that good. I, I didn't really find myself laughing at it. It's not that funny of a movie. It's just, eh. I'm glad that it's there, and I was glad to see something new, because he hasn't done anything new. Oh, my God! Oh, and I'm back to just the freaking triple shot. Damn it. Ugh. Now this boss is going to take forever to do. Well, I guess... I guess you can never have a perfect run at Contra, I guess. And now there's no way to even get the spread shot back. Alright, let's just get this over with. Did it! Beat Contra! There you go. So there you go. That is the game of Contra. But yeah, like I said, don't waste your time with the Angry Video Game Nerd movie. It isn't that funny. If you've seen it, good for you. But it isn't that funny to me. So here's the ending of Contra. Congratulations, you've destroyed the vile Red Falcon, and you saved the universe. Consider yourself a hero. And basically, the game just restarts, and uh, a whole bunch of other stuff happens, like, yeah, the staff and stuff. So, you know, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this in the future. I'm going to be doing uh, Mega Man 2, and I'm not going to be able to beat that game in one sitting like this one, but... Anywho, what are you going to do? Like I said, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this in the future. This is Dora Wrestling Fan. See ya next video of NES Month. Hope you enjoy the next one.